Covent Garden is one of those places that Londoners tend to avoid because it's very, very busy. Even if it's crowded, I think there's some interesting things worth seeing. So today I'm going to show you some hidden gems. Welcome to Covent Garden. I'm going to show you some hidden gems here in Covent Garden, something probably not so common. Actually, it's very common, but I don't think people pay attention to these places. So come with me and let's explore something interesting here. This is sort of a designer street or very important brands. It's like an iconic place. We go now to Covent Garden Street Piazza, where we have street art and people performing and a lot of different restaurants. So let's have a look. Looks like we don't need to go too far to see street performers. Just see behind me right now what's happening. I know there's a lot of tourists here, like a lot of people, but hey man, like you're missing out if you're not seeing this right now. For tips, they have this sort of, uh, you know, like a card reader, tap and tip. Uh, quite interesting way, so you cannot continue with your lame excuse about, I don't have cash, mate, I don't have money, mate. Of course you have your credit card. <laughs> Alright guys, so I wrote down a place called Abuelo. We are just behind that. Apparently it's an Australian, South American coffee shop. So we need to figure out what that means. I think probably they use South American beans and they put the Australian technique um, to make coffee. So let's have a look there. Um, yeah, I'm actually hungry, so let's go. It's not that I want to buy a souvenir or anything like that, but I just want to show you what this place is. Looks like a new place, or at least I've never been before. It's called like a Chubili Market. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look. We need to wear face masks. Seriously, 10 pounds for a backpack? <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't need this one. If you guys are tourists in London, come to this place, you get two of whatever this is, like wallets and, and this stuff, for five pounds. It's a good deal, right? Totally sure what they are looking for. All right, guys. So we can see now uh, people in this square are actually watching Wimbledon. Djokovic is playing uh, Shapalov. Shapalov? I don't know how to pronounce it. The Canadian guy. Uh, they're in the semi-finals now. Tomorrow we have the finals. I heard that this is one of the most beautiful streets in London. This is 
is a passage, it's called Shaw Gardens. We have a lot of colorful buildings, we have meals here, we have cranes, a lot of different small restaurants and pubs. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. They used to have one shop here, a Neil's Yard shop, and now they have probably three or four different ones. It should be called Neil's Yard Gardens instead of Short Gardens. Um, yeah, it's just funny. Just avocado stuff, so curious to try the stuff that they sell over there. Half avocado here, patty or whatever that is. We just finished this avocado burger. It was 15 pounds and it was literally an avocado sliced in half with a patty, like a lentil patty. Was it nice? Yeah. Was it worth? Probably not. If you like this video please feel free to press like and if you want to make my day please feel free to subscribe thank you so much for watching and see you next week what do i believe what makes me feel it to write you this song so today i want to show you some really really busy on the other hand Covent garden is one of those places that are very very <laughs> but let's have a look and I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna place a call now, please.